Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. Back on the David Pakman Show, we're talking about the Gabrielle Giffords assassination attempt. Of course, six people did die there. We can't ignore here the political climate in which this is all taking place. And somebody who was heroically very direct about that political climate, and we have to take him at his word here, is Clarence Dupnick, the Pima County, Arizona sheriff. He actually said very, very directly, very quickly after this, this shooting, that the political climate in Arizona is absolutely a factor here. Let's hear what he had to say. No surprise being absolutely railroaded by conservative media. And why wouldn't they? Because they have a lot to lose if they start being associated with that political climate. But again, I'd just like to say that when, when you look at unbalanced people, how they are, uh, uh, how they respond to the vitriol that comes out of certain mouths about tearing down the government, the anger, the hatred, the uh, uh, bigotry that goes on in this country is getting to be outrageous. And unfortunately, Arizona, I think, has become sort of the capital. We have become the Mecca for prejudice and bigotry. The Mecca for prejudice and bigotry. And you know what? When we talk about all of the things that are being being said in Arizona, including, you know what, the real concern is, are you an American citizen or not? And you need your papers all the time to make sure we know you're not a dangerous Mexican. And you actually need more paperwork to prove you're not an illegal Mexican than you do to even have a gun on you. That is what is unbelievable. And, and Sheriff Dupnik here is making a great point. He's getting absolutely rail, railroaded for it by who, in part, the usual suspects, Fox News. And Fox News is absolutely complicit and involved here in a number of ways. As we know, Sarah Palin, crosshair Sarah Palin, Sarah Palin, who wants us to fight back and keep our guns, which liberals want to take away. Sarah Palin is an employee of Fox News and Fox News, the instant when they went to a vigil, and I'm going to play this video for you and the audio. They went to video of a vigil that was being held the instant that Sarah Palin's name was mentioned. You will not see a faster cutaway than this. Fox News is as complicit as anybody else in this with Glenn Beck on the air and with everybody else and with the narrative that they have. And it is just not even a surprise to me that the second somebody mentioned Sarah Palin, they cut away. I mean, it's not surprising. Is that Lewis? I don't think so. Let's let's see exactly what happened here. Coming up, uh, I've been mentioning throughout the hour, we're, we're waiting for what we believe is going to be a very important news conference. We're going to get to that news conference as it begins, scheduled to begin 12 and a half minutes from now. We'll take it when it happens. We hope you'll stay with us. In addition, we are now noticing outside the Capitol uh, in Phoenix with pictures courtesy of KSAZ, which I'm told you can put up there. And there we are. A vigil is if taking we place. Gabby, we all have to look into our hearts and say to ourselves, why? Why do I want power? Not that I want power. And I say to you, Sarah Palin, what's going on? I mean, it's, it's, it could not have happened any quicker. You have someone on the switch there ready. The instant you hear anything that might implicate Fox News, like Sarah Palin, their employee, you cut away from that. It's pathetic. It is obvious that this is what is going on. Spencer Giffords, Gabrielle Giffords' father, when he was asked if his daughter had enemies, he said, yeah, the, the whole Tea Party. Those on the right now continuing the normal talking points. It's a lone crazy gunman, no influence from the outside. And I have to ask the question, if a Muslim community center had distributed a U.S. map, right? With 20 Congress people's names and crosshairs on their locations, and then one person got shot from that list. Do you think people from that Muslim community center would just be walking around freely right now? Absolutely not. Can you even imagine, Lewis, if it was a Muslim community center instead of Sarah Palin, who was putting crosshairs on congressmen? Am I wrong that that would be instant news? People, there would be instant acts of uh, violence, violence against, against, Muslims. Against, against that community center, against Muslims. The, the factors here that we could just reverse, if the shooter had been a Muslim, if the, if the crosshairs list had come from a Muslim community center, you cannot even imagine what would be going on right now. 
And there's nothing wrong to get back to this event that was at a shooting range. There's nothing wrong with having a help remove Gabrielle Giffords event. There's nothing not wrong with having an event at a shooting range. I probably wouldn't go. But to put it all together with get on target to remove Gabrielle Giffords and then finishing with shoot an automatic M M16, it's not cute. It's not clever. It's a frightening link between shooting guns and removing Giffords. And again, not legal responsibility. It's part of the rhetoric. And it's always a big concern when something like this happens. Don't generalize about groups of people based on one incident, right, Lewis? I mean, we hear that all the time, except if they're Muslim, then we can generalize. Then je the generalizations are fine. And for people who say, and we are already hearing it, you know, uh, it's only the fault of the shooter. That's really the point. The reality is the mentally fragile are always out there and the violent vitriol gives them a focus. And in this case, there was not a way to keep Jared Lee Loeffner outside of that influence. Right. And this guy was 22 and people were saying that four years ago he was still um, angry over Gabrielle Giffords. Or, right. So why now? Right. 18 years old. I mean, how, how malleable are you at that age? Very. It's clear Sarah Palin and Alan West and Sharon Angle and Jesse Kelly and the Tea Party, Glenn Beck, O'Reilly with his Tiller the Killer stuff, every single one have not been given enough credit for how dangerous they can be. We always talk about how crazy they are and how wrong they are and how absurd what they say is, but we're not really taking seriously the fact that they are affecting real life violence. Violent right wing rhetoric does not kill people. That's right. Mm -hmm. People luck, living uh, in a world where they hear a lot of right wing violence, violent rhetoric, that is, actually does kill people. And we're seeing that more and more. Good luck getting them to take any responsibility. Well, for for any right wing or domestic terrorism. The Republican Party should repudiate Sarah Palin right away. I mean, with absolutely no delay, her chances for being president should absolutely disappear. And I actually want to, we put this poll up on davidpackman.com. What level of responsibility does rhetoric about guns targeting liberal politicians, the calls to arms, the fear mongering, what responsibility does that have in the shooting of Gabrielle Giffords? I'm curious to see what their audience will, will say. I'm really hoping a Republican politician will step up and acknowledge what's going on here.